Welcome to this old Lego brick. Today I'm expanding my train station. I already have a train station and started expanding it already. However, recently there was a sale which allowed me to purchase a second train station at a very reasonable price. Before I show you what I have done already, I am showing you the box so you can see what the original looks like. All right, here it is. As you can see, I've added a few new elements. I haven't really changed it that much, except for the back here. Not completely done. You can see I'm missing a few elements. But so far, it looks good. I'm very happy with it. As you can see, I've built it upon the large gray base plate. I do this with all my buildings. It makes my entire city modular. This is not yet in the town. I still have some work to do before I decide where to fit it in. And where to place my train tracks. I'm hoping to build an underground uh, railway system beneath my city and this is the sort of direction I'll be taking uh, when I expand this. My current thought is to have the train station on the same level uh, as the train tracks that will be running underneath the city and then have stairs leading from the city above to the train station. Um, however, I can also uh, decide to elevate the building and then uh, have stairs leading down to the train tracks or decide to have an elevated train tracks and then have stairs leading up to them from the train station. So I'm not entirely sure yet what I'm going to do. Regardless, it's going to be uh, a big project. But until then, Let's just worry about what we have here. So let's start building. I don't often purchase more than one of the bigger sets. It's just that I simply cannot afford it and I have to maximize where my Lego dollars are spent. But if you are going to get a second building or you're on the fence and you already have a train station, I would suggest that this would be a great addition to your uh, town. Aside from expanding an already great architectural building for your town, you will also get a second taxi for your city. You also get five mini pigs with somewhat interesting prints. Uh, including, of course, an additional train attendant here. And then you can see I played around with the face a little bit. Um, he's got the glasses, where the original one over here, you can see, does not. Or we can even change it further. I like the idea of having a female train attendant to complement her male counterpart. And so that's what I'm going to do this time around. Now that the tax is done, I can get on with the main build. To begin with, I'm building it as instructed. I'm not sure yet exactly how I'm going to put it onto the base plate, uh, but I am going to remove these pieces here uh, so they can be extra pieces into my collection. 
Uh, and the instructions, they're used to help guide you and making sure that you're putting your pieces exactly where they are without having to count uh, the studs. So after I built it following the instructions uh, for the base, I then made a few modifications and put it flush to my existing train station. As you can see, I took off the back of each of the extensions here. And there's one over here, the two. And, um, and I also shortened it so it can fit on the great plate, the base plate because the original train station extends out to here. I just can't do that and maintain a, uh, a modular base. So uh, let's finish building the structure. Also, expanding your train station with a second set also allows you to expand your Lego store. Every town should have a little Lego store in it. I have the roof on, but unlike typical modular building construction, the roof does not come off. Um, I'm not worried about that right now, but I will fix it in the future, so uh, it will be able to come off and access the two stores uh, and the main lobby underneath. Well, here's the finished product. Well, not entirely. As you can see, I'm missing a lot of elements to finish the job completely, but uh, an order at pick a brick should uh, solve that problem. Again, I'll have to redesign the roof so that it could be uh, like the other module, modular buildings where you can just pop it off. And I'm not quite satisfied with the double awning here. I might break them up, give them a little more space, put one here and the other one on the opposite side. But, you know, tell me what you think. Um, you know, also, I will say that even if you don't have uh, a train or plan on getting a train uh, system for your city this is still a great build and a good deal and it can act as a starting point for a bigger modular build I mean imagine you have your little menu you know hot dog stand here uh, and your Lego store of course and here could be the entrance into a apartment building that can rise up above this. So I think it's a great buy, you know, overall. Um, I don't know if I would have purchased two if I didn't get a, such a good deal on the other one. I think I, I think I got it for $35. So look for those deals uh, online and uh, flea markets and, and such. And until uh, next time, happy building.